Hey guys, I just want to make a quick video here telling you guys that Green Poison for Mac is now available. So now it's available for both Windows, Linux, and Mac. And you could have used, you know, Lime Rain made by GeoHot that. He had a Mac version and a Windows version, but if you don't like him, you basically released it early, so you don't want to support him, you could use Green Poison right now. And yeah, so as I told you in earlier videos, if you want to know what jailbreak you are going to use to your iDevice, you just go to jailbreakme.info, I have a link in the description, and then you just input your you know, information. So this is my version. Check the device. Okay, so I should use Green Poison. Awesome. Then you can just click on the link, and you will get forwarded to Green Poison. So it's very simple, and that's the first thing that I just want to show you guys. Now the second thing. Oops, sorry guys, wrong. The second thing I just want to show you guys is the Tiny Umbrella, the program to save your SHSH file, has been updated. So now it's you know much simple and you know more clean interface to know what you are you know going to do and how you are going to do it. So here you can see my connected devices, um, and you can see the recent devices. So if you have a lot of you know iPods and iPhones, I don't think you have that because many people don't have that. Um, but you can just click on your device if you have it connected and then you have three tabs here and if we go to general we'll see the device model we'll see the firmware version and then we'll see some two very weird things so I have no idea what that is then you will see the saved SHSH files and as I said in previous videos it's very important to save SHSH files if you want to be able to downgrade in the future it could always be a great backup if you if your uh, i device get bricked or something like that so basically what you do is you download this tiny umbrella program this new version and then you just connect your ipod i device to your computer uh, fire up the program and then you just click on save shsh files now if you want to downgrade and you have the uh, description instructions how you do it on the server first you just plug in your device and you start the TSS server here and then you just restart iTunes select the device in iTunes and when it appears you should hold down shift and click click restore and then you just select your appropriate IPSW file okay I don't think many people are going to use this but you know it's very you know more simple than before um, so that's very good then you have some advanced things you can see where you have your SHSH files and if you want you know to save all of your files and so like that so it's very cool this new version so yeah that's everything I want to talk about if you like the video please comment subscribe and I see you guys next time bye